Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna talk about Zero Trees for iOS 11, 12, and 13 of the 13.5. The first tree is called Calm. It's a beautiful first sight. Next tree is called Multiplot, and basically it's power to your dock. So you can see some screenshots of the tweak. This tree is called Spike Extender X, and reinvent your keyboard with this full remake of the legendary Spike Expander tweak. Um, so it comes with pre-made sense for your device. You can uh, swipe any direction to perform any um, 20 actions and bring light to your keyboard. So this week is before we make a legendary swipe um, expander. It's not working modern iOS versions. So you have all these features you can use. And this week's called confirm rotate and basically with this week, uh, hate auto rotate even lock uh, auto lock even more of annoyance. So this week blacklist blacklist apps and keeps them locked in portrait. Make app switch and restore portrait. Auto disable orientation lock to get you in a new habit. Disable rotation auto um, animation system wide for snap rear tune in or turn in and then pop up uh, dark mode have to feedback scrolling position and more options do a lot of retain back view portrait mode without prompting next is called system info and basically it just shows the info um, of your system this is called modern alerts 2 and ios alerts are boring so basically this week you guys see um it redesigns alerts on ios to look like the alerts on tvos and it comes with a set of different options custom background custom button colors custom background images and dark mode this week is called Cozy Badges, and it's a cozy place for your badges. So it removes the boring default badges that appear when you have a notification on an app, and instead it places with a colorful label. So, pretty cool. This week is called Song Share, and you can easily share songs with your friends. So, it's already a tweak that will automatically detect when you copy the music URL to your clipboard, and will automatically convert them to a song link. It allows you to easily share um, this new link with your friends uh, who will be able to open the link and choose their streaming device, streaming service of choice, and open the song. This is called Files of File Manager and also Files of File Manager for 64 bit devices. And it's a file manager for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, supports iOS 7 and up. So those support the iOS, the newest iOS 13.5. And this is called Switcher and basically allows you to set up the eight different applications as their favorites and available from the lock screen. So look. This is called home screen quick actions and basically uh, with this week you can uh, select which home screen quick actions should be enabled. This is called deny photo albums and it gives you visual and useful options to hide a photos application to a new list albums like videos, selfie, um, panoramica, screenshots, and so on. It comes with different additional features for hiding people, places, recently deleted albums and there's really no respring is needed um, to work this week and you can figure the tweak from the settings. This is called Digital Battery 13 and provides percentage in the status bar for all notch devices. This is called Digital Battery 13 Lite and it's basically just the light version of Digital Battery 13 so it provides a digital percentage in the status bar for notch devices so that's how it looks. This is called Enable and basically um, with this week Customizes gradient that replaces your dock, horizontal or vertical. Use colorful four colors when music is playing, and you automatically generate colors from your home screen wallpaper. This is called fake picture, and basically what it does, it is used for fake picture taking when apps ask to take a picture of selfie from the iPhone camera. It basically tricks it, and you can actually place any picture you want. So pretty. This is called GPS Faker GPS or GPS Faker Expert, and basically changes the location um, for your GPS location on your apps. And your routes for your games and apps. And this tree is called Volume Step 13 and configure it customizes the volumes up and down steps. And this tree is called Transparent Notive and basically what this tweet does um, it cleans up the large shark notification barriers by making them transparent and it allows you to change location, adjust notification, change color of notifications, hide the app name, hide the time of arrival, hide the note uh, order notifications text on the lock screen, and hide the stock charging indicator on the lock screen. This is called Lance and basically it's ultimate device customization. This is called 11 Pro and as iPhone match Pro camera features to older devices. So you have to be on iOS 13 for this to work as the camera features on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. And the last week is called CC Badge Clear. And yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. It just clears the badges for your control center. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.